Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Adish Raman and like you guys know, the ICC recently introduced the ODI Super League which basically acts like a qualifier for the 2023-50 over World Cup which is supposed to happen in India. So I want to know a little more about it which is why I decided to talk to Deep Das Gupta sir who by the way is now a featured columnist on Click Tracker's website. So make sure you guys go on to the website, check out his articles on literally every topic that comes around in cricket. Expert opinions all from him directly. So make sure you guys check that out and before that I have to quickly tell you if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, do that straight away, hit that notification bell as well. So let's jump right into the video. So there's so many new things coming into cricket. Last year we had the ICC World Test Championship and this year we have been introduced to the ICC ODI Super League as well. England versus Ireland have just kick-started that tournament. How does this exactly work? How does the ODI Super League work? But before we understand what the Super League is, we need to find out why it was required. See, for the past uh, so many years, we've been talking about these inconsequential uh, bilateral series. So as far as the test was concerned, it was uh, kind of sorted out with the World Test Championship. Now, the same way, like the World Test Championship, we have the Super League. The Super League in which, uh, you know, the bilateral series would have point system and based on those point system, teams will qualify for uh, the World Cup in 2023. Will you be able to explain what this exactly is and how uh, the, the selection process happens, how the qualification process happens and also how the elimination process happens? Yeah, that's right. A total of 13 teams will be part of this Super League. Now, 13 teams, uh, there are 12 regular ODIs and Netherlands who won uh, the Championship uh, League there. So they qualify to be part of this Super League. Now these 13 teams, you've got to understand how the qualification will happen. Now this Super League would be phase 1 where based on the rankings after the Super League, the top 7 teams along with India as the host of 23 will qualify. So total of 8 teams will qualify. That would uh, leave 5 more teams, right? So those 5 teams plus there will be another 5 teams from the associate nations who will get together and play the qualifiers. The qualifiers would be phase two. And then uh, out of that qualifier, there'll be two teams which will qualify, the finalists will qualify for uh, the World Cup in 2023. So total of 10 teams in the 50 overs format. So eight teams will qualify directly. The top seven plus the host, which is India in this case, eight teams and two teams will qualify through the Super League and the qualifier. So this is the system as of now which according to me makes a lot of sense, not just the qualification process, but also the fact that bilateral series needed some context. And do you think there are any downsides to this uh, this league? Honestly, I don't see a downside to this. I only see an upside to this because uh, there are a couple of very important uh, 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 concerns that needed to be addressed. Number one was uh, obviously you know, uh, enough cricket for the lowly ranked sites with the top ranked sites. With now, with the Super League in place, you have uh, uh, at least, you've got to play four away series and four home series. So eight series you'll have to play. So there should be enough cricket for everyone. You know, there's always been a concern for, like I mentioned, you know, the top sites play a lot of series. You know, uh, nations like Zimbabwe, Afghanistan, they don't get to play a lot of cricket, a lot of series. You know, nobody watches this, there is no interest. But now there is at least some context to it. There is something that every team wants out of these bilateral series, irrespective of who is playing whom. We've already seen that happening in the World Test Championship. There are no dead rubbers anymore. Even if, uh, you know, the series is decided the last before the last test match, even then the last test match becomes very, very important because there are championship points which are at stake. Same thing will happen here with uh, the Super League as well. And also, like I said in the beginning, uh, ICC has given us a couple of new championships uh, in the World Test Championship last year and the World uh, ODI Super League this year. Do you think because of COVID, the World Test Championship, the finals or maybe the second part of the tournament should be postponed just a little bit? Uh, I don't think it should be cancelled. What I think it should be postponed as of maybe not as of now because there's a lot of backlog uh, to, to those bilateral series which were supposed to happen in the last four months. So now that test series have bilateral cricket and live cricket has begun again, we've only 
already already seen West Indies England happen. We'll soon have uh, West, uh, England Pakistan happen. I think it only makes sense to keep it going the way it is. I understand where you're coming from, but let it go and we'll see where it stands. Let's say in the month of March, and if required, uh, that then it can be postponed. To be very honest, I don't see uh, the World Test Championship happening. Uh, as scheduled june of 2021 i think it will be postponed uh, but i don't think there is any hurry as of now to postpone it uh, i think uh, with that uh, june 21 uh, scheduled date i think there will be some uh, sense of urgency where uh, teams will start playing cricket and start playing those bilateral series which they were either scheduled or couldn't play because of the covid situation i think there'll be a sense of urgency and 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 we will get to see a flurry of cricket being played, flurry of uh, series being played from here till June. And uh, like I said, there is no hurry as of now. Maybe in the month of March, uh, the ICC can take a call where it stands at that point in time. That is all we need to know about the ICC ODI Super League. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the like button in the comments. Let me know how you felt about that video. And without fail, if you already haven't done it, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. And I will be back with more such videos.